Hey guys, my name is David Pope, and this is my vlog for my uh, Library 100 class. And mine, my new student dialogue was on socioeconomic class, and um, we had a we had lots lots of talks about uh, just who we are as people, and the main thing that we kind of got from this was. Um, just respecting where people come from and people have different backgrounds and um, how it's not always your fault if you're poor and it's not your fault if you're rich it's just how it is it's sometimes it's just you're born into that and you have no control over some things in life and you have to respect people's differences and we played a we played a lot of games in and simulations in that class about um, how um, money affects people differently. For example, we played a game where it was we used like Monopoly money, and it was like um, there would be a lower class, a middle class, and upper class, and each class started with a different amount of money. And the the teachers or simulators would go through different scenes and say like oh, you lost this much money, or so-and-so class put this much money in the bank, or invest in the stock market, or the hurricane affects these people differently. And then the income rates for, like, the paydays would be different. So, and and um, you just see how, how you started with a lot of money, and you kind of stayed there. And the prices through everything kind of affected the different classes differently. Uh, they also had to do activities that were, like, we had like a social identity wheel, and that's mine. I know you can't really see it, but um, I'll just kind of go over what's on it. They had us uh, kind of describe ourselves in our social identity of ethnicity, socioeconomic class, gender, sexual orientation, age, um, national origin, first language learned, if there's any uh, physical, emotional disabilities or impairments, um, religious or spiritual affiliation, and race, and kind of had to identify ourselves. And I was white and kind of German and lots of European mixed. Uh, I'm in the upper middle class. I'm male. Uh, I'm straight, and I'm 19 years old. I'm from the U.S. originally, and my first language was English, and um, I don't have any physical or emotional disabilities, although I would share that with you, but I honestly don't. I'm very blessed to be quote-unquote normal, I guess, in terms of disabilities. Um, Christian, and that's about it, and we kind of had to, everyone did this, and we all just kind of talked about how we all are different, and we kind of said how each one of these categories affects our background and ultimately who we are. And it was very useful to kind of see other people's view on their own life and background and things like that. And um, we also went through and ranked these um, on the wheel, and we said which one was the most important to us and like one through ten which category kind of mattered the most to us and um, I'll just go through my first three and mine were religion um, any disabilities and socioeconomic class and um, for obviously like religion be first for me because I'm Christian and um, it does matter to me I feel like that's how you should ultimately govern your life based off of what your religion says that's just my personal view. Um, disabilities, I would, in terms of like, these are, uh, again, in terms of like, making you who you are, I guess. And my second one was disabilities, because I don't have any, I was very blessed, and I feel like that definitely shapes who you are, and it affects how you see the world. And um, my third one's class, because if I, if you weren't born in the whatever class, it, it does have an effect. Like, if you're born poor, if you're born middle, if you're born upper class, it affects 
who you are and what how you view the world, like what kind of person you can be. It's not the ultimate, you know, but it definitely says a lot. Um, again, those are just top three about who I kind of identified myself as and things that ultimately worked to shape me into the person of who I am. And um, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for listening. All right, see you.